Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 306 of the 365 day trivia road trip. The questions today come from Richard from Alabama. He sent in a quiz that we played last week. This is his second quiz, which means he qualifies for and has received his road trip kit. He's got that. You'll see a picture of it at the end of this episode. Let's get started, though, with today's quiz. Question number one. The last battleship was built by Great Britain in 1946 and was named the HMS Vanguard. Great Britain also built the first modern battleship, launched in 1906. What was the name of this ship whose name became a synonym for battleship? That first one was the Dreadnought, the HMS Dreadnought. Question number two, Ferdinand Porsche, who developed many race cars, also designed an affordable automobile at the request of the Nazis that became a symbol of simplicity and reliability. What is the name of this iconic car whose name roughly translates to people's vehicle? That car company is Volkswagen. Question number three. This super dreadnought attempted to escape into the Atlantic during World War II. Chased by British ships, it destroyed the pride of the British Navy, the HMS Hood, and damaged another new battleship, the Prince of Wales. Finally caught, she was sunk by battleships King George V and Rodney. What was the name of this famous ship? That's the story of the Bismarck. Question number four. Praised by General Eisenhower as one of the weapons that won World War II, this workhorse carried men and supplies to, from, and across the battlefields of Europe and the Pacific. What is this iconic vehicle, which is still being built in modern form today? The answer we're looking for is the Jeep. Question number five, specially built by Ryan Aviation. This aircraft carried Charles Lindbergh in the first solo transatlantic flight from Garden City, New York to Paris, France, thus winning the Ortigue price of $25,000 and making Lindbergh a worldwide celebrity. What was the name of this famous plane? That plane was called the Spirit of St. Louis. Question number six. The first economically practical steamboat was built by American engineer and inventor Robert Fulton in 1807, carrying passengers from New York City to Albany on the Hudson River. What is the name of this vessel that changed water travel forever? That was called the Claremont. Question number seven. This large airship, the pride of German aviation, caught fire, burned, and crashed while attempting to land at Lakehurst, New Jersey, killing 35 of 97 passengers and crew. What was the name of this lighter than air craft? The answer is the Hindenburg. Question number eight. This large vessel and sister to the Titanic also had a brief and tragic career. Serving as a hospital ship after her completion in 1915, she was sunk by a German mine in 1916 off the coast of Greece. What was the name of this ship, the largest vessel lost in World War I?
That was the Britannic. The Britannic. Question number nine. On August 6, 1945, the city of Hiroshima, Japan was destroyed by the first atomic weapon ever used in war. The bomb was dropped by a B-29 flown by Colonel Paul Tibbets. Named after his mother, what was the name of this unique aircraft? The answer is the Enola Gay. Question number 10, famous for both its long and continuing career as a luxury passenger train and its inclusion as the location of the famous novel by Agatha Christie, what is the name of this train where Hercule Poirot solves an intriguing murder mystery? That novel by Agatha Christie was called Murder on the Orient Express. Orient Express is the answer. Question number 11, stretching from Moscow to Vladivostok, this rail line spans eight time zones in Russia. While 5,772 miles long, it is still only the third longest rail line in the world. What is the name of this most famous rail line in the world? The answer is the Trans-Siberian Railway. Question number 12. Commanded by Captain Ahab with obsessive determination, this whaling ship foundered while chasing the white whale. All aboard her perished with the exception of the storyteller Ishmael. What was this sailing ship from the novel Moby Dick? The answer is the Peacod. Question number 13. One of the earliest oceanic research ships, this craft was a repurposed Royal Navy minesweeper made famous by ecologist Jacques Cousteau in his many exploratory voyages. What was the name of this ship? The answer is Calypso. Question number 14. This ship was specially built for the Greek hero Jason so he could search for the Golden Fleece. Powered by both a sail and the oars of the Argonauts, its talking prow was carved from a special oak tree sacred to Zeus. What was the name of this special vessel? The ship that carried the Argonauts was called the Argo. Question number 15. This craft was the brainchild of Captain Nemo and appeared in two Jules Verne novels. The name was also given to a number of U.S. Navy submarines, including the first ever nuclear-powered submarine. What was the name of this famous submarine? The answer is the Nautilus. Question number 16. One of the enduring mysteries of the sea is that this ship was found adrift in the Atlantic by a Canadian vessel. Found in good condition with no one aboard, although the crew's personal effects and the ship's cargo were intact. What was the name of this ghost ship? That ghost ship was the Mary Celeste. Question number 17, written by Graham Nash, this tune describes a trip taken by him across Morocco. The song mentions the multitude of animals and other colorful sights seen in the cheap cars and contrasts them with 
the American ladies five foot tall and blue. What was the name of this song and the train? The answer is the Marrakesh Express. Question number 18, known for their super luxury cars, this iconic British company has also built famous aircraft engines such as the Merlin used to power many World War II aircraft, the Olympus engines of the Concorde SST, and the Pegasus engine used in the Harrier jump jet. What is this famous corporation? The answer is Rolls-Royce. Question number 19. This failed lunar mission almost resulted in the loss of the crew, but due to incredible efforts by engineers, mission control, the crew itself, and an astronaut who would have been on the mission but was grounded for medical reasons, everyone returned to Earth safely. What was the number of this mission? It was an Apollo mission. The answer is Apollo 13. 13 is the number. And question 20. Built by Howard Hughes, an industrialist and qualified pilot for the U.S. government for World War II, it was the largest airplane in the world for many years. It only made one flight which was successful. Officially called the H-4 Hercules, it was more commonly referred to as what? They called it the Spruce Goose. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Thank you to Richard for sending in another great quiz. He has sent in two now. So this is a picture of him with his new road trip kit. I hope you enjoy it. And if anybody else would like to get one of these by writing some trivia quizzes, jump over to our Facebook page, get all the guidelines, figure out what you need to do to get yourself your own road trip kit. I heard today that they might be lucky. So get one, take it to Trivia Night, see what happens. That's all I'm saying. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today's quiz. The British Foreign Intelligence Service, MI6, has a unique system of codes to distinguish their agents. The one assigned to Agent James Bond, played by several actors, including the late Sean Connery, indicates that he is licensed to kill. What is Bond's official numerical designation? This one may not have broke the tie. The answer is 007. 007, whichever player got closest to that number is going to win the point. And if it was a tie and they're the only one that got it right, then they win the whole game. If it was a tie and you both got it right, then I'll see you tomorrow for a 21 question tiebreaker. See you then.